You're watching News 8 Morning Extra on the CW San Diego. It's a sensory-friendly holiday. A mother shares her advice for families of children with autism. The lights, the sounds, the smells of the holidays, these are just some of the reasons people love this time of year. But what if you have a child with autism? The holidays can be extra stressful due to those same reasons. Our next guest is a mother of seven, including twins with autism, and she is here to help. Laura Kaspar joins us. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. First of all, mother of seven. You got yes, out I the am. door, full makeup on, cute <laughs> outfit. Uh, let's just start with how did that get done this morning? Woke up early, That's as you know. Yes. Um, for you. For folks that don't know your story, you have uh, twins who I have, are now 21 years now old. 20, yes, so they were diagnosed with autism when they were three years old, and they were nonverbal. And with a lot of therapy and a special video modeling method that I developed called discrete video modeling, they caught up to their peers in language when they were eight years old. Oh. They went to college at 16. They're now, as you said, 21. They have jobs. They have friends. They work outside the home. They're just like any typical millennials. We developed this program into a web-based platform called Gemini for my twins, and now it reaches people all over the world, and there are tens of thousands of people who are seeing the same results that my twins saw with the program. Thank you for doing that. What a huge contribution, especially for families who get this diagnosis. It's very so rewarding, lost. as you yeah. can imagine, yes. So during the holidays, you know, we deal with things like lights and sounds and family coming in and out and people that you don't know and friends in and out of the house. How, exactly. Kind of break this down. Where do we start to make sure that our children with autism or maybe any sort of sensory uh, deficiency a disorder where did they start in order to make sure this is well as you, as you just said a parent's dream of reliving the joy of Christmas or birthdays through the eyes of their child can be shattered if the child's alone in the corner ignoring presence or screaming and tantruming sure and this all happens because children with autism do not have fluency in language so they're wondering what the heck is going on why are all these people in my house are they ever gonna leave are they gonna sleep in my bed why does it smell so weird why does it sound so weird why are these people handing me boxes with paper on them? And why is my brother ripping all the paper off? Right. A lot of people overload. Like, Total overload. Yeah. And I with, feel overload yes. this time of year. I children with autism do not even understand the concept of a present. So do you sit down and explain to them each and every part? They don't of the have holiday? language, remember? So we've got okay. five steps that we can do. And I've got to tell you, my twins' third third Christmas was the worst day of my life. Mm. Their fourth Christmas after we put the, together these st five steps was the best day of my life because I could understand that they could overcome the challenges of autism. So we don't run out of time. What's step one? Okay, step one, you have to take videos of the people who are coming to the house of the pictures and say them very slowly. So you have to take a video saying Aunt Betty or Uncle Joe. And show so when the people get there, the children will recognize these pictures and they'll even be able to say their names. Step number two, you want to have a quiet space in the house where the child can go if they feel a little stressed out. And you take a video of a family member and you say quiet space and the family member goes into the quiet space and tell everybody that comes to the house that they should not go into that room. The child has an escape route, they're going to feel less anxious. Okay. The, for the smells of that, you're going to have the holiday food that we all love that can be unusual for a child. You're going to want to uh, boil water on the stove a few days before for a few hours a day and put in poultry seasoning and cinnamon, whatever they're going to smell on that day so they get used to it. Okay. And step number four, you're going to want to take uh, videos of the, of the table for Christmas, how it's all going to be set, and put those pictures that you have of the people who are coming on the different place settings so they know this is what's going to happen when they get there. Wow. And step number five, so that children understand what a present is, you can go um, on our Gemini YouTube channel and we have a video where we have shown ch a little child opening a present being saying thank you, knowing it's for him, playing with the toy afterward. It's free and it's open for everybody. Fantastic. You know, that just reminded me and what a special place I have in my heart for families who are dealing with this because you don't know the extra work that it goes into. We all think we're going to enjoy the holiday season, but the stress that this can be for some families. Thank you for doing what you're doing and for going right through these five steps for people. Where can people go for more information and even the videos you were mentioning? So they can have lots of sample videos at our YouTube channel. Just search Gemini and it's got two eyes in the middle. G-E-M-double-I and I and the two eyes are for my twins. Okay. Or Gemini.org. You can find lots of in, uh, information, all the research that was published on the program, lots of testimonials. We have children who have never been able to speak before in their life start to watch Gemini in the first few seconds. Their parents are videoing it with their phone. They start to talk. Wow. Sometimes it can take Huge two years, though. Right. They have older people, 40 years old, 19 years old, who've never spoken to before. Take two years with Gemini to start to talk. But you know what? Two years is better late than ever. Progress is progress. I, really quick, can I put you on the spot with this question? We have about 10 seconds. Yeah. If you need to buy a present for a child, 
child with autism, what is an appropriate gift? So there's a difference between what they would be good for them and what they would like. They would probably like lots of things that have little tiny parts so they can put them in lines. Stay away from those. You want to have toys that are more imaginary play. So either if it's a boy or a girl, a tea set that you can use and you can have the parents act out the tea party, uh, a baby doll that you can hold and pretend it's a baby and act it out. Any toy that's going to be good for the child is going to be one that's going to be interactive with the parent and the child. There's not going to be really anything you can just buy them that they're going to take off by themselves. Fantastic. Laura, thank you for doing what you're doing in this particular community. I know it's near and dear to your heart and seven kids. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thank season. you very much. Merry Christmas. You too.